Welcome back, parents. We begin with module three. Our module covers four chapters. However, the discussion will not be in order of chapters. I will start with chapter 14, which only has one lesson. And the chapter is about angles. So in this chapter, we need to teach our kids how to distinguish the three different types of angles. There's actually a fourth type, which is not mentioned, so we will just discuss three. The three types are acute angle, right angle, and obtuse angle. Okay, an acute angle is an angle whose measurement is less than 90 degrees. So measure less than 90 degrees. Okay, a right angle is an angle whose measure, measure equals 90 degrees. And an obtuse angle measures more than, more than 90 degrees. Okay, so one of the tools to be able to distinguish one angle from the other would be a right edge. So that means either a piece of paper, this right here is a right angle. But if not a paper, then the edge of a ruler. So this is a right angle. So if you put your ruler or your right edge against an angle and you see the angle, directly on the edges, that's a right angle. If you see more than the angle, when you put the edge, then that means that's an obtuse angle. And if you don't see the angle anymore, after you put it on one side, place it against one side, then that means that's an acute angle. Okay, so our exercises will come from page 111. Okay, so here, uh, I selected problem number two. Okay, so it says use a right corner to determine the answers to the question. Okay, so so the questions are, which are right angles? So if we take our corner and we put it against the drawing and they meet, that means that that's a right angle. So by the drawings, we know that A, C, and D are all right angles. So the next question says, which are, are obtuse angles? So again, if you put the corner and you see more than the angle, then that means that's an obtuse angle. So if we look here in F, that's more than the edge of the, the corners of the right corner. So that means F is a F is an obtuse angle and so is B. Okay, and finally, it asks for what is an acute angle. And again, to determine, you need to put the corner. If you don't see the angle after you put the corner, then that means that's an acute angle. So if I look here, if I put it on this edge and I don't see, that means that's an acute angle. So that means E, angle E is an acute angle. So again, parents, the best tool is a corner. If you see, if you place the angle, if you place the corner against the angle and you see just the angle, that's right. If you don't see the angle anymore, that's acute. But if you see more than the angle, then that means that's obtuse. That concludes the only lesson in chapter 14. See you in the next chapter.